Students at Pittsburgh University were so triggered by Milo Yiannopoulos' critique of feminism and Black Lives Matter, they demanded counsellors should have been present in the next room to help people who were traumatised by his opinions. Listen to the absurd statements these whinging crybabies made after the event. So many of us shared in our pain. I felt I was in danger, and I felt so many people in that room were in danger. <laughs> This is more than hurt feelings, this is about real violence. That so many people walked out of that event feeling in literal, physical danger is not alright. Real violence? What fucking violence? There was no violence. Words can't sprout fists and punch you in the face. Opinions can't physically manifest into baseball bats. Words aren't weapons, they can't cause physical pain. Bing, 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 bong, bong, bing, bing. I'm triggered. You're the only ones engaging in violence when you physically try to stop people from attending a Ben Shapiro lecture. You're the only ones engaging in violent rhetoric when you threaten to bomb Protein World and Gamergate meetups. You whine all day about other people's opinions being violent while using violent intimidation to stop those opinions from being heard. So boo hoo, somebody disagreed with your stupid fucking opinions. Big deal. Somebody call the Wambulance. What? what did you say? There's this thing called free speech. Don't know if you've heard of it. It's so broad, it even gives idiots like you a platform to spew bullshit. Oh, but Milo dared to point out that college rape culture was a myth based on fraudulent statistics. The only rape culture in the West is when facts rape social justice warriors. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? Universities are supposed to be about free-flowing debate, raucous dissent, and having your ideas challenged. Not trigger warning safe spaces and censorship of anyone who you disagree with. If your reaction to your beliefs being put to the test is to start crying and demanding counselling, chances are those beliefs aren't very solid. <laughs> Oh yeah, and being offended isn't a form of activism. Smearing yourselves with fake blood while chanting moronic mantras isn't going to boost your credibility. Listen up, pussies. Your feelings don't have rights. You don't have a right not to be offended. Facts don't care. If you flee to your safe space and your crybaby counselling because you can't handle them. Facts don't care about your feelings. Fuck your feelings.